I'm currently on a five day road trip going to five different locations filming five YouTube videos and today is day number three. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona and I don't want to get out of bed. I drove about six and a half hours here last night from El Paso, Texas and I got to the hotel like 2 a.m. I feel like every night I just keep getting less and less sleep but uh yeah let's get ready for the day. This is getting so dirty. Daily tray flip test, if I land it, it's gonna be a good day, but I'm not feeling too confident about this one. This board's getting so soggy, I'm gonna definitely have to set up a new one today. The hotel I stayed at last night is right next to a Chick-fil-A, that's fire. Oh, but their breakfast is over, fuck. Hey, excuse me? What time does you guys breakfast end? It ends at 10.30. Ah, oh, fuck, okay, thank you. God damn, bro. Ah, bro, first the Starbucks turkey pesto shit. Now today I I missed the Chick-fil-A breakfast. How do I wake up a hundred feet next to a Chick-fil-A and still miss their breakfast? I mean, fuck, I'ma still order something. Their frosted iced coffee goes so hard. Redeem for 600 points, fuck yeah. Okay, Brian. Yeah, right here. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you so much, you guys have a good one. Bro, that's nut worthy. But today I'm actually meeting up with Zion Robinson. He's a small YouTuber from out here in Arizona. He has, I think, just under a thousand subscribers. Whenever like smaller skate YouTubers show up in my recommended, I always try to show love as much as I can just to give him a little bit of motivation. But yeah, I found Zion's channel one day and I really liked the way his videos were structured. You could tell he has like that YouTuber mindset. And uh, I subscribed to him. We connected through Instagram after that and now we're here. But yeah, I also wanted to let you guys know that the new sweaters are out right now. Link at the top of the description, lateclub.co. Pretty small drop, super limited quantity. So get on it while you can. And every single package is gonna be shipped by me straight out of my bedroom and uh yeah appreciate you guys let's go meet up with zion do a kick flip oh shit damn that's good man how We're are you good good to see you nice to meet you bro i just took the biggest shit in chick-fil-a all right came inside to grab some tape but they had prime this is my first time seeing prime in stores they do not have the shit in california my first ever sip of prime we're going with the blue raspberry first i'll be dead honest bro I hate when this shit comes off with the fucking cap, bro. L manufacturer. Wait, how is it that sweet if there's not that much sugar in it? That, okay, that's pretty that's pretty fucking good. Now we got ice pop. I heard I heard this is like one of the best ones. Wait, let me get the other taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see. Alright, these are pretty fire, bro. Damn, now I'm gonna be wanting them when I get back to Cali and they don't they don't even be having them. Okay, so the plan is to set up my whole board inside Target. I got everything in this cart right here. I just wanna see if I can set up the whole board without getting kicked out. I don't think they're gonna care about setting up the board itself. Just the camera, they'd be tripping like no filming in here. As long as we can sneak the camera in and be somewhere not too obvious, I think I think we'll be chilling. All right, we made it inside. I said I was gonna try to get somewhere not obvious, but we're dead ass like right in the middle. I gotta at least get the grip tape on, you know? Like if I don't get past that part, that's such an L. Got an 825 PAL flight deck. Everyone be like, dude, you're still skating that board. They send me different ones. All right, I got some new Tomo grip, the Dice logo. Dude, I cannot take the fucking paper off. The other side. What? I'm trying to rush through this and I can't even get the paper off, bro. I wonder if it's because it was in my car. Like I wonder if the heat has something to do with this. I'm gonna just leave it like this. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna try to do this as quiet as I can. Dude, big ass air bubble. Wait, since I put it with the paper on the back in some parts, like it's not gonna be stuck to the board. Like it's gonna be a fat long air bubble. Ah, eh, fuck it. Michael asked, did you ever get made fun of at school for your YouTube videos? There was this one time, it was a setup video. It was just like this shitty, like the worst lighting in my bedroom, like filmed on my iPod type shit. And they put it in art class, in the front of the class, on like the main computer. And it was so embarrassing because everyone was just laughing. I, I couldn't let it show that it bothered me. You know, I had to just laugh with them or else they would just keep doing it. But yeah, yeah, it wasn't something that like stick. Obviously people like fucked around. They were like, oh, Brian Ernett, famous Brian Ernett. Can I get your autograph? Like just fucking around. But it was nothing ever like bullying type shit. So loud. I think I'm caring more than them. I keep looking around like this and they're just minding their business. Do you sand down your nose? I always sand on my nose because it gripped them. I forgot to mark which one was my front truck. All right, someone said, can you hard flip late flip? I did that shit one time up a Euro gap at Pyru. I was probably like 15 and I've never done it again. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to get one today now that I read that question. My hard flips don't like pop up to my feet, so it's hard to do a late flip. 
Jaden asked, do you plan on making a solo part in the future? My last street part was in 2020, and I don't know if you guys saw the description, but I said it was gonna be my last street part until I like really dialed down on YouTube. My headspace has kind of changed. I'm open to filming another part. It's just, I don't want it to be the same exact tricks as my last part, you know? Like, I feel like I just do the same late tricks at different spots. But yeah, I think I want to learn more tricks in the parks, especially like rail tricks and, and like manuals, like more tech stuff, and then take those to the streets instead of just like my normal bag of tricks that I do downstairs and gaps. Just so it's something different, you know? Wavy Raymond asks, what's the next car you plan on getting? I have not even thought about getting a new car. Like, I'm not in the position to just get a new car right now. But a Tesla would be sick. Especially after this road trip, I'm just like, damn, a Tesla would be so convenient, bro. The price of Teslas has been going up. They're like minimum 50K right now. So, like, I don't think I'll get a Tesla till, like, I've, like, made it type shit. Like, when I could buy it cash, you know? Like, I'm, I'm chilling with the Camaro right now. I, like, I don't, I don't want to just be getting a new car every year type shit. If not a Tesla, like maybe like just another Honda Accord, but like a hybrid, you know? Those are those are pretty fire. All right, I think that's the end of the setup. Dude, this grip job was horrible. Right, let's get a little kickflip test. I don't know why that was so fucking awkward. Just sitting in the middle of Target right there. If I don't land the kickflip, it's because I didn't know which one was my front and back truck. So I'm gonna blame it on that. All right, the setup went pretty good. Surprisingly, we didn't get kicked out. I mean, that wasn't like the plan. Like the goal wasn't to get kicked out. I just wanted to successfully set up a board and it worked. You think kids still ask for skateboards for Christmas? I remember when I got my first skateboard for Christmas, like I came down before Santa was supposed to get there. Saw like this Walmart skateboard that came with a helmet. Like the helmet was on the board. It had clear grip tape and it had the same graphic on the bottom and the top. I don't know if I can, I'll put it on the screen if I can find a picture. I remember getting so excited. All right, just pull up to Rio Vista Skate Park in Peoria. I have like two hours so I have to get back on the road, so I'm gonna try to film as much as I can. So there's a big ass 10 stair and a big ass eight stair, but for some reason, the 10 stair looks less intimidating. This literally looks like a 12 stair height, bro. Oh, that's you? Yeah. Oh, oh shit, dude, oh shit, dude, right, I wasn't dude, sure. Dude, dude, dude. Bro, this dude's always showing mad love. Every dude. time I stream, post a picture, I always see your comments, everything, bro. Dude. Appreciate that. Yeah. You saw my story right away. Oh, We're start. still at Target. Dude, this man is trying hard flip, late flip. Okay. It's going down, it's going it's down. It's going down. Oh, I don't know if that's going down. Dude, there's no way that's going down. Oh. Oh, oh. my God. That was it. Baby, bro. Oh. Dude, it's it's because of the prime, bro. It's all thanks to the prime. Congrats on 1k subs. It happened? I mean, probably by the time this video goes up. Damn, we made it. I came over here earlier and I thought these were rocks, like some, some artsy shit, and I went like this. It's fucking gum. That's so gross. Nolly flip? Can I do that instead? Yo! It might take a few. Let me that try would be like so that. sick. Little did I know it was going to take a lot more than a few tries. I went to the other ledge thinking it was going to be easier because I didn't want the trick to take more than 15 minutes, but I ended up trying it for over an hour. I don't usually put that many bales in my videos because it could get kind of boring, but when it's a trick that I start battling just for the vlog, I feel like it's only right to show you guys the effort that went into it. I started getting really pissed off because for one, I was supposed to start leaving Arizona already to head to my next location. Two, I was getting robbed. There were so many that I could have landed and should have landed. And it was just so frustrating that I couldn't just stay on the board. And three, it's honestly just kind of an ugly trick. Like I started wondering if it was even worth the battle, but I was in too deep already. So I honestly would have just kept trying until my phone died, bro. I know it's just a park clip, but I feel like this is what skating's all about. Like it's crazy that we'll try a trick over and over and put our bodies through this shit just to get a trick. It just goes to show that it doesn't matter how many times you fail. What matters is that you keep trying and you don't give up because it only takes one to finally roll away. Now, now I feel like the pressure's off, you know? Let's we'll still do a tie line to clean, but. Three in a row? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
let's fucking go. Bro. Thank you, bro. That was it. Thank you for getting that yeah. second angle. Thank you for filming Always. that whole time. I'm only gonna put like, I'm gonna put a good amount of tries in there just to show you guys the reality of it. But bro, I literally said earlier, I was like, I don't wanna try a trick for an hour cause I have to go in a little bit. And then I just spend like almost two hours trying that bro. Oh my God, that drive home would have been so depressing. Wait, how old are you? 15. Bro, that's child labor right there. I need, I need to pay you. <laughs> 140 attempts on this phone. But there was a few more that you didn't film. So yeah. maybe like 150. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that airtime's crazy. Say, that was legitness. Hell yeah. Say, that was legitness. That's legitness. <laughs> my shirt is soaked in sweat and I'm so cold. I don't know if it's my lung or what, but like the front of my chest and the back right here hurts when I breathe. Damn. Only reason I learned that was because of you, bro. For you, G. Fits good, fits good? Yeah. Now tell them where they could get it. Lateclub.co, link hey. at the top of the description. Out now, baby. Lateclub.com, link in the freaking description, dude. Some high quality embroidery. Oh, it's, it's cozy. I was freezing. As soon as I put it on, I'm chilling. I could go snowboarding in there. Dude, if I would have been wearing that, I would have landed the Nolly Flip out first try, bro. Nigga. Swear. We going strong, turning us a pass in them niggas. The meat riding is gonna sound crazy, but first time trying these, bro, 10 out of 10. Drink prime, dog. This shit's so fire. 